This is Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today that you will consider this like your vitamin or supplement for your heart and mind. And wherever you receive podcasts, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, leave a rating and a brief written review. I trust wherever you are today, you are safe and you are taking care of your family and friends. We are changing in our world at this moment, whether we want to or not. We're finding new and creative ways of doing things. We're finding out that we have to change and we have to uh, improvise. And there are going to be, I believe, when we get through all of the things that we are facing, there are going to be some wonderful, wonderful uh, byproducts that have happened because of all of this. I remember that Charles Duhigg says in the book, The Power of Habit, you have to believe that change is possible. There is some area in your life you want to change. Uh, it won't change. You won't change. The situation, the circumstance, the habit, the uh, changing direction, none of that will happen if in your heart you don't really believe you can change or it's possible to change. Anything that you are doing, have done in your life, at one point, more than likely, you were not doing that. You had to decide that you could do it, and this is what you wanted to do, and you had to put your heart into it. Well, our life is never a finished uh, product. There's always room for improvement, always room to get better, always new ways to learn how something is done. Here are some things that I want to remind us as everything else seems to be changing all around us. Here are some things that we need to pay attention to. Now, regardless of what is happening in your life right at this moment, you must be true to yourself and who you are. You must be true to your values. You must be true to your family. You must be true to your friends to your organization, to the things that you value and believe in. Don't give up being who you are. These kinds of times do not change what we believe, what we think. It merely reveals us who we are. I, I believe that at times like this, both our, our faith and our values and our character are being hammered out on the anvil of difficulties. So in the midst of the things that are changing and things in your own life that you would like to see changed, make sure that in the midst of all of that, you stay true to who you are and to your values. Right now would be a good time to reach out and help someone. This is a stressful time in, in the folks' life. We need to reach out and encourage. This, this is a, a time for self-care. This is a time for coming alongside and helping others. And we live in a unique time for we have so much social media and electronic devices available that uh, we can keep in contact with people even when we aren't able or shouldn't have face-to-face -face contact. One of the best ways to get to feeling better about where you are and what's happening in your life is to make up your mind today you're going to help someone else. Another thing that I'm finding is very helpful when we're in this kind of a time is drink deeply from good books. I would imagine on your shelf or in your Kindle or in your iPad, there are some books that you have always intended to read. You just never got around to it. Maybe there are some podcasts or some podcast episodes that you said, when I ever, whenever I get time, I'm going to listen to that. Well, this would be a wonderful, wonderful time. I once knew a person who had been incarcerated for a crime. They, in the prison, got their life situated. Uh, they became a person of faith. They decided to go back through college, to college via the jail cell and really made some significant changes that person introduced me to a jailhouse statement that I wasn't familiar with. Maybe you are familiar with it. Maybe I've lived a shield, shielded life or a, a, a you know, protected life in a bubble. But he said to me, Pastor, you have well, one of two choices. 
You can either do the time or you can let the time do you. I think that's also true when we're in a, a situation where there is downtime. You can either let the time get to you and destroy you and, and eat you alive, or you can use this, this time um, to invest in others, to invest in things you've been intending to do, to really make up your mind, I'm going to read something, I'm going to learn something, I'm going to expand something. I, I see a lot of my friends are cleaning out their offices and their closets and their garages and are really making a concerted effort to get organized. All of those are, are good things. Um, it, it's also a good time when we go through an emergency to remind us of why we need to prepare for emergencies. They usually do not come pre-announced. They sort of happen. And so that's why you need to take care of your health. That's why you need to take care of your finances. That's why you need to have contingency plans. The sun does not shine every day. Everything does not go perfectly all of the time. So maybe during this time of change, you, you are seeing that you need to build up an emergency fund. You need to pay down your debt. You need to start saving for retirement. You need a rainy day fund. Whatever that is, you just need to get with it. Um, I remember that John Wooden, the famous basketball coach, said uh, these three things. Never lie, never cheat, never steal. Don't whine, don't complain, and don't make excuses. So every day is a good day to be honest. Every day is a good day to have character. Every day is a great day to not take what doesn't belong to us. And we can all whine about what's going on, and we don't like it, and we wish things were different, and wish things could be back like they used to be. But our whining isn't going to make it happen. And rather than taking what little bit of energy you may have to use it to complain and, and cry and make excuses, why don't we use it, as I've already said, as an opportunity, as an opportunity to make myself better, to get involved in doing things that I've always said I wanted to do. You know, a lot of people think they can fool people, but the most tragic people are the people who try to fool themselves. Because the moment you start lying to yourself and believing it and fooling yourself, you are done. So one of the, the things that I think you need to take evaluation of, especially during a time when you may have more time available to you for some self-reflection, is be on the alert to, to the dangers of self-deception. Have you been ignoring some things that are really true and that you really should not be um, taking care of. Have you have you heard some things and thought I I'd better get uh, back to where I need to be? The thing about it is this, my friend: we must not deceive ourselves. See yourself as you really are, and when you see yourself as you really are, then you will have the opportunity to make the kinds of changes that uh, you need to make. My wife and I have two little miniature schnauzer dogs, a male and a female. Since 1981, we have had a miniature schnauzer in our home, and sometimes two of them. They've been great little dogs that we love, and I know you're partial to your breed. But it doesn't matter how bad of a day I'm having, my dogs are always glad to see me. As a matter of fact, when I just go from the garage to take the garbage to the curb and come back in, that doesn't barely take two minutes. My dogs greet me like I have been gone to war and I have been absent from the home for months. Um, the, someone told me when I first came into the position that I presently hold that if you want a friend, get a dog. And after the first year of doing this, I got a second dog. And here's uh, what I'm hoping. I hope I can be the person my dogs think I am. I, I want to be that kind of a person. And perhaps we shouldn't just leave all of that to dogs. We should be people focused. Now, in the midst of me talking in these podcasts about getting better and changing and growing and stretching and learning and be a continual lifelong learner, 
isn't because I believe that I nor you should be better than somebody else and we should surpass somebody else. No, I just want to be the best that I can be. I don't care about being better than someone else. I don't, it's not even in my mindset that I can show up somebody else. I just want to be the best me that I can be. And I think, again, that's one of the pluses of being in a very difficult time that we all find ourselves in right now is there's plenty of time to go to the University of Self-Improvement. General Norman Schwarzkopf once said, the truth of the matter is that you always know the right thing to do. The hard part is doing it. Now, like most quotes that I give, I'm not sure that I buy the entirety of that quote, but it's enough. It's more likely true than not, for sure. I think of some of the decisions that I have really poured over and walked the floor over and really had to prayerfully consider if I was going to do that. Oftentimes, he is absolutely spot on and correct. It's not often that we are halting between two opinions. It's rather we understand better than anyone the consequences that come with being a leader and making a decision. You'll never be the leader you need to be until you're okay with people misunderstanding why you did certain things and everyone not liking the decisions you make, even to the point that they may not speak to you. You, leader, have information, and you were not called to just receive a salary and to take up space. You were called to whatever it is you're doing to make decisions. And so if there is during this time, this downtime, a tough decision that needs to be made, make the right decision. Make sure you've sought as much input as you can. Make sure you have weighed all of the variables. But if you're convinced that it's what has to be done, then you're going to have to live with all of that. My word of encouragement for all of us today is let's band together. We may have to do it electronically. Let's be an encourager to each other. Let's let every one of us decide once and for all, I'm going to be the best me that I can be this week, this month, this year and throughout the future. My leadership friend, it was for such a time as we are in right now that you and I were called to the positions that we're in. We are where we are today so that we can make a difference. People are counting on you. People are looking to you. We need calm, considerate, clear-minded, warm-hearted leaders who will help us navigate these troubled waters that we're sailing through right now. And people need you and I to be at our best. So let's do the best we can with God's help. You have been listening to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I hope today this has been like a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart. And again, wherever you receive podcasts, would you please go uh, to wherever that may be, Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, Podbean, any of them. And would you subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom and leave a brief written review and a rating? It will help others to be able to find this podcast. Until next time, leader, remember you really are doing better than you think you are. I know you are. And until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying, have a great and blessed day. 